Hey there, welcome to WebFactory's i4 Labs, the place where we play around with tools and ideas, where we might just find the next cool thing that's possible in the WebFactory world. Today we're playing around with Node-RED, an awesome flow-based programming tool for Internet of Things. We're gonna hook it up to i4 SCADA and try to make a flow that will notify our users via, let's say, Twitter, when a certain event like an earthquake occurs. We're gonna start with an empty flow, and the first thing we're gonna do is add a signals node. Now, note that this signals node comes from the i4 SCADA integration with Node-RED. So, upon dragging the signals node on the page, we're gonna configure its host to connect to our demo i4 SCADA installation. We're also gonna configure the Vibration 1 demo signal to drive our flow. This Vibration 1 signal will simulate our earthquake detector. Next, we're gonna add a switch node. The switch node will allow us to split the values on two different channels. Now, for the first channel, we're gonna configure our payload to be greater than 9, so any value greater than 9 will be sent to channel 1. The rest of the values, smaller than 9, are gonna be routed to the second channel. Now let's add a debug node to see what really happens here. We're gonna configure our first debug node to output a string, so a text, saying low vibrations, because we are not interested in the actual values below 9. We're gonna add another debug node for this first channel of the switch node. This way we're gonna see the output, the actual values of our signal. The output of the debug nodes will be visible in the debug console upon running the project. So far everything works just fine. But let's continue building our flow here. The values we're interested in have a lot of decimals, so let's simplify this and round them up to just a couple of decimals. For this, we're gonna use a function node. I'm gonna call it simplify, and I'm gonna use a JavaScript function called toFixed to reduce the number of decimals to only two. So far we have the value in a pretty form, but we need a text in order to make a tweet out of it. So let's add a template node. This node allows us to create a textual template and insert our value in this text. Now let's link back our nodes and see what happens so far. As you can see, the debugging console now shows us the text instead of only the value, so this actually looks like a good tweet. Let's add a Twitter node and see how this behaves. For the Twitter node, we need to configure its connection to Twitter, so first we need a Twitter account. This account will receive all the tweets from our Node-RED flow. We also need the API's key and secret, and also the access key and secret. All of these are available in the Twitter developer dashboard, once you create a Twitter app. Now that everything is in place, let's run this flow and see how it behaves. As you can see, we still have all our output in the debug console. But once we head to Twitter, you can see that the message we have constructed in this flow is actually tweeted out on our account. So yes, it's that easy, thanks to WebFactory i4 SCADA and Node-RED. Thank you for joining us on our playground, and keep an eye on our YouTube channel for more cool videos like this one.